Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle Fidwin. Welcome back to another episode of my full Atomic Heart walkthrough. This is episode number three. And in the last episode, we met uh, Larissa, which is a doctor, as well as had our very, very first boss fight, which was very, very cool. And today we're going to be jumping right back into where we left off at the end of the last episode. Been really, really enjoying this game up until this point. It's a very, very good one. And graphically is just so, so good. I don't really know how it looks so good, but it just does, even on, an, on a standard Xbox. I'm just hoping you guys to enjoy this next episode, and I'll see you guys all in the game. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was going to stand here until it turns off on its own. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. Maybe this will help us. Uh, but the functionality of the beam decoder, the this bulky system is a passive security device. Yes, as you correctly remarked, any child could operate it, but while this child of yours is entering combinations, a single is or a signal is sent to the security panel, and the guard on duty can stop any unauthorized actions, whereas in an emergency, it can be operated by an untrained employee. Also, due to software limitations, robots cannot control the beam decoder, which reduces the chance of an error in the event of a robot malfunction. Did this answer your question? Hmm. Okay. So, okay. I'm guessing we follow the arrows. Okay, here we go. Uh, unlock the passive security relay functionality by putting the magnetic fluxes in the correct order. Okay. So positive, positive equals positive, positive, negative equals negative, and then negative, negative equals positive. Okay. So, so we need to get the rest of these blue, yes. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Okay, I think I get it now. We're supposed to. Yeah, have this one powers blue. on. Oh, well, that was back. easy. I definitely overthought that. I was thinking that you had to do the two reds, but it was just the blue. So, well, good to know for next time. Which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. Okay. Sure. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. <laughs> I like the waypoints. Okay. Do I have to wait for it to recharge? I guess I do. Okay, sweet. There we go. Continue the search for Victor. Uh, use shock on enemies to stop them in their tracks or even kill them. Sounds good to me. I couldn't get knocked down. Oh, that was sweet. Come on, come at me, buddy. See you later. Wouldn't want to be ya. And there's another one over here. How many shotgun? Oh, nice, we have 11 now. Shots to kill. The Babylon complex is one of the facility's largest subdivisions. Okay. The 
heck? Weird spinning thing. I'm guessing that these things will do damage to us if we are careful. Chill on the edges, how about? You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. Mm -hmm. Okay. To emerge from the polymer, use B. Do you run out of air or anything? In these? I don't see anything, so I guess I'm guessing not. I mean lots of books, but this one. Okay. The cable car is Sweet. offline. Reboot the control system to reactivate the line. How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say. Oh nice, here's a save. Heck yeah. Alright. Ooh. Yes, we got the shotgun shell recipe. Heck yeah. Let's go ahead and save Dating the game data. real quick. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Mmm. Okay, so we have actually 19 of these, so we can go ahead and craft a whole bunch of these if we wanted to. Um, perfect, okay, we'll craft four of those. I don't know if that was a waste or not, but... Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. Okay, now we have polymer upgrades. So we can't do any of these yet, I don't think. Actually, okay, so these all have a cost. So this one's... okay. This all makes sense. I kind of like the frostbite ability. What the heck does this do? Glove can hit targets and surfaces with a jet of cryopolymer. Affected enemies are frozen and cannot move. Sounds good to me. Cool. Uh, upgrades the cryo jet's pressure chamber, increasing its maximum range. Okay, that one's only 11, so might as well. Yeah, I'm liking this game so far. It's pretty fun. It reminds me a lot of, as I said, Wolf, Wolfenstein, but I'm not sure what else it reminds me of, but I'm a fan. Okay, that's another thing. Mass telekinesis, don't have, I don't think we'd have the money for this yet. Yeah, it's cost 66. Polymeric jet, your glove can spray targets and surfaces with a jet of combat polymer. Once applied, combat polymer can be set on fire, electrified, or frozen. Ooh, that's useful. All right, we'll go ahead and grab that. And we'll leave that be for now. Okay, uh, using skills. Hold LB to use the selected skill. Uh, press up to switch skills if necessary. While one skill is active, you can activate another by pressing the up button. Uh, the active skill will be interrupted and alternate skill will be triggered. Okay. Frostbite. Freeze your enemies to slow them down for a while. Rem remember, a frozen enemy only takes a portion of the damage from your attacks and thaws out more quickly with each hit it takes. Okay, that's good to know. Polymeric Jet. Use the polymer to enhance effects of freezing fire and electricity. Add, apply polymer to a surface or pour it directly onto your enemies. Sweet. Please select the desired procedure. All right, now let's see if we can upgrade our shotgun a little bit. Mm, yeah. Or what does it take to... Okay, we can craft a little bit. We can only do four. That's fine. And 
And then last but not least, we will Major go ahead Michayev. And I mean, we already upgraded it, so I think we'll leave it. We'll leave it be for now. Sweet. All right. Could probably go for a little bit longer. There's the control panel, and of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ah, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Station okay. master. What a joke. Uh, what was that? Hmm. The schematic. Need to find the schematic. Oh, hello. I won't go without the schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why is he frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope. Won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. The city will not be bound by weather or geography. Well, shit. Okay, so where's this diagram of yours? Schematic? The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station monster has it. He didn't make it. He's as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel? He died. And everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. We're now witnessing a glorious new era of so Gotta find the Station Master. I just wish I knew where he is. Maybe I should have said thank you. They won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. Holy fuck! A talking corpse! Okay. So I guess we have to go up the stair. Follow the waypoint. That's what I would assume. Unless, did we just come from this way? I don't think so. Oh, maybe we did. There it is. Okay. Looks to be pretty simple. Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. Send them out! Speed them out! The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry, no ticket. We are ready to depart. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. All right, here we go. Jeez. These robots are moving. Having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. Okay. Uh, overcoming vertical obstacles. Tap A and L. S. Near a pipe or similar object. Latch on and start moving up or down. I okay, must well, admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Okay. 
Hold on, we have to make sure we don't get our... Get smoked by one of those things to our right. Okay. Got a little mirror's edge parkour here. Mind if I do? Okay. Holy shit. That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. Wouldn't survive without him. All right, guys, we are back. Wish we had to die to this thing, so we have to be too careful. Charles, that was a Barov, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed, it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Come out again. Yep. Here we go. Nice. Irony, comrade. I took such good care of those wonderful, powerful, brilliantly designed machines. And now, oh, the irony. What are you talking about? The Burovs. Our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Comrade? Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them with the ground and the money. We'll have our complete subway system. Or any sort of tunnel. Subway is hell. It's the moon that we're going to use them for. So their top secret in their armor is tougher than a tag's PTA plates, my part. Cutting edge science. What's so ironic about that? Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, you see. I was a Barav roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, digging God knows what. Like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of without us. You worked on the Buravs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. Used to be no artificial sea. No fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars. Just mountain ranges. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Borovs. We moved mountains, built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. A machine's mind is like a small child's. Well, it needs love and care. Or it'll descend into confusion. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So we have two different waypoints here. Now, one of the things I wanted to check... Okay, so we have to go all the way until a new save point. So I might have to pause Man, the game and do I ever love crawling through dark-ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Oh, crap. Okay, I think if we stay in the middle, we'll be fine. Maybe not, though.
Am I supposed to go this way? I have no idea. Alright guys, well I think I'm going to go ahead and end the recording here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to end the episode or not. I do still want to play for another half hour, but I want to make sure I end the recording before the recording decides to freeze on me. So I just hope you guys have been enjoying this really interesting game so far, and I will see you guys in a second.